Das Mädchen in German, little girl, she's neuter, must be a robot. Can't be a person because they referred to it as neuter with as neuter pronouns. It's ridiculous. Let's think better than that. Recently, I encountered some folks who use Seagull's research into the two powers to prove that the Trinity is false. One thing they think is the spirit is not a person because of the two powers. Your thoughts? Well, that's pretty weak. What's their definition of a person? Their definition of a person is the ability to distinguish for, of that person, that entity distinguished between himself and other entities. That's a property of personhood. It's a property of self-awareness. And, you know, you're going to read in, in, the, in the Bible, the spirit does that. The spirit distinguishes between himself and others. The spirit exercises abolition or will. You know, I cho chooses out Paul and Silas to go on a mission trip. I mean, what's their definition of personhood? It has nothing to do whether whether there's two. Two doesn't eliminate three. And the only thing that eliminates something from the consideration is is whether the the entity exhibits the attributes of personhood. You know, Numa is neuter. Okay, in German, das Mädchen, little girl, is neuter. Is the little girl not a person? Hello? Okay, grammatical gender does not decide the issue of personhood. What decides the issue of personhood is how that entity is described. Are they described in, in with attributes that persons have? Okay, so that that's what they need to do, and that's where their research, at least in the way I'm, it's being presented here, is flawed. This is not a grammar question, and there is at least one instance where masculine pronouns are used of the Holy Spirit. By the way, but again, the the, the the gender pronoun issue doesn't solve the the issue. Does, does the spirit have the, the properties of personhood? And the first thing you have to do there is come up with criteria for personhood. So Bird has a quote here on the issue of personhood. Personhood is a complex matter, but we are safe to say that a person is a living being. In other words, not a robot or an imaginary friend or a pet rock. Person is a living being who is self-aware, capable of cognition, is able to relate to other beings and possesses recognizable character traits. A person is someone who can distinguish I from you. Okay, so that, that's a, that's a, a quick non-professional philosopher summary of personhood. And given that conceptual introduction, several lines of evidence converge to convince us that the spirit is a person. Acts 13, 2, the spirit distinguished himself as a personal entity in relation to other persons. Separate from me Barnabas and Saul for the work that I have called them. It's the spirit speaking. Spirit has the qualities of a person. He has intelligence. He knows what God knows. He has a mind. He teaches people. Third, spirit is described in ways that suggest personhood. He can be grieved. He can be blasphemed. He can make choices. He can make decisions relating to the lives of believers, Acts 16. He's described in ways that suggest he is a person. The spirit is to be obeyed, can be lied to, can be resisted, can be outraged. The Holy Spirit is also described as a personal agent to believers. He is the parakletos, the paraclete, the comforter. The spirit has a role in witnessing, convicting, guiding, hearing, speaking, glorifying, and declaring. Okay, another indication of Greek grammar in John 16, 13, and 14, you're going to have Greek, you're going to have masculine pronouns at least once refer to the Holy Spirit. I mean, the, the, the point is the, the arguments that, that this, whoever this person is putting forth, are poor because they're not starting off with a definition of personhood. This issue is not, dis, not guided by grammatical gender. Otherwise, das Mädchen in German. Little girl, she's neuter, must be a robot, must be an impersonal entity. Can't be a person because they referred to it as neuter with as neuter pronouns. It's ridiculous. Okay, so let, let's think better than that. 